Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we're gonna to be learning how to blend fire. Now there's a lot of ways to blend fire in Photoshop and so I'm only gonna be showing you one of those ways, uh, but there definitely are many ways to do this. Uh, but I wanna show you one of my favorite techniques here. So first of all, we want to get all of our stock images ready. This is an image off of unsplash.com. It is a man who is hiking through the forest. Looks like it's raining or it's very foggy and very wet and uh, you're welcome to go and download that one on a stock website or something like it. And then also we're going to need a picture of fire. This is a picture I took uh, at my house at night and I uh, just balled up a sheet of paper and took a picture of it. This is not on unsplash.com. This is actually a part of a uh, fire stock uh, group that I have on my Gumroad account. So you can go to gumroad.com slash Kevin Carden if you want to get this one or your own favorite fire picture for this project. Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we're gonna to be learning how to blend fire. Now there's a lot of ways to blend fire in Photoshop and so I'm only gonna be showing you one of those ways, uh, but there definitely are many ways to do this. Uh, but I wanna show you one of my favorite techniques here. So first of all, we want to get all of our stock images ready. This is an image off of unsplash.com. It is a man who is hiking through the forest. Looks like it's raining or it's very foggy and very wet and uh, you're welcome to go and download that one on a stock website or something like it. And then also we're going to need a picture of fire. This is a picture I took uh, at my house at night and I uh, just balled up a sheet of paper and took a picture of it. This is not on unsplash.com. This is actually a part of a uh, fire stock a group that I have on my Gumroad account. So you can go to gumroad.com slash Kevin Carden if you want to get this one or your own favorite fire picture for this project. All right, now that we have the fire in the scene, we need to make it look like it actually belongs into the scene. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the person here, we're gonna make him a little bit more red and a little bit more uh, bright. So I want to make a selective color adjustment right on top of the background. Just go to your neutrals. We're gonna take out some cyans here and we're gonna bump pump in some yellows, make it nice and orange. Then I'm gonna do another brightness and contrast on top of that and just make it a lot brighter. So we've got two adjustment layers here. Go ahead and put those into a group and then put a layer mask on that group. Invert that layer mask so it's invisible and then just get a white brush. And what we want to do is just start painting some nice orange glows on the body. We want to put it everywhere that would make sense. So right here on this man's leg, on his pants, right where his shoes are at, even up here on the elbow and part of the uh, the jacket here. All of those are gonna be getting orange light on them. So just paint some nice colors on the body. All right, so this is what it looks like when we zoom out and we turn that off and on. You can see how we're adding those nice colors to this man's legs and his clothes, but we also wanna add it to the ground below. The ground is wet and so it is gonna be a little reflective. So just get a white brush and just kind of paint on that layer mask. And so we have a, just a little bit of glow uh, on the ground around him. Don't do, don't overdo this one though. You don't want to do this too much, but just a little bit of uh, orange glows here on the ground near his body. And so I think something like that uh, looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is get another picture of a fire image. And this is the picture of the embers flying through the air. And I just want to grab a few of these. Again, this is off of my stock uh, pack on uh, Gumroad. And so you can just bring those in, bring this on top of everything, change it to screen, and then you can make it a little bit smaller and put it right over top of the fire just to add a little bit more uh, character to this fire. All right, now we need to add some rain to this image. So go back to your fire stock image that's got the embers everywhere. Just grab a selection of those embers, bring it in and put it on top of your entire scene. And then what we're gonna do is make it a lot smaller. And I'm just gonna continue to copy these and make a bunch of copies all over this scene. So just put them all over the area, rotate them, make them bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do, but just fill the entire scene with these ember layers. Now you can use a brush as well if that's something you prefer to do. But what you want to do is have all these little dots going all over the place, all over the scene. And then you want to bring all of these layers together, just make them into one layer. Control Alt, Control Shift and U will make it uh, desaturated, change it to screen. And then you want to go to blur and motion blur. And then just put it at, you know, 70 or 80 uh, degrees for your angle and then you have some nice rain. Duplicate this several times for a little bit better effect. 
All right, the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of glow to this image. I'm going to make a new group and then put a layer in the group and then make your group name to glows and color dodge. And then we're just going to get some orange here. And kind of what we did earlier, we're just going to paint a little bit of orange glows where it would make you know natural, logical sense. If there's going to be a bright fire right here, we want some bright glows right on these legs, the shoes, the elbow, even the ground right near the shoes. But you want to really sell the idea that there is a fire in the scene, which means you're going to have other parts of the image that are going to be bright and orange and red. So take some time and paint a little bit of a nice red and orange glows on the body and on the skin and on the arm everywhere around the fire uh, to really make it believe the viewer believe that this fire is there and it's very hot. All right, we're just about done with this image. Let's just do a little bit of color grading and then we'll be all done. So let's go ahead and do a selective color adjustment layer here. Go to your blacks, take out some of your blacks just to make it a lot less contrasty. You can also add a little bit of cyan, take out a little bit of yellow. And then let's do a levels adjustment on top of that. And let's just bring down your whites to make it a little bit darker, but get a layer mask and mask out that brightest part of the image right there where the fire is at. And that way it'll just make it pop a little bit more. But guys, that's all I've got for this tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed it. This is just one way to add fire. There are multiple ways to add fire to your image, uh, but this is one way I like to do it. Use that screen blend mode to, to bring it in and then make sure that everything in the scene is reflecting that fire. Nice orange uh, and red and yellow glows everywhere just to sell the idea that there's an actual fire. But thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you again at the next tutorial.